Hi, I am Simon from Oscars Wooden Arc and today I want to talk about our sunblocks and explain why they are such a great way for your kids to explore math as they play. So what is so special about them? The value of each number is represented by its height. The higher the number, the taller the block. No matter how you stack them, if the numbers add up, the heights will match. And while for us adults this is such a wow effect, we have to remember that our children often don't understand this connection yet as they simply haven't learned about the value of numbers. While the 4 doesn't match on top of the 6 because both towers do not have the same height. They just learned that they have to use the 3 or a 2 and a 1. And that's the unique thing about some blocks. Children can control their results independently by simply comparing the height of the building blocks. Learning through play at its best. While we adults have learned over years that a specific number stands for value. Seven dollars, seven days or seven centimeters. For a child, however, it is just something abstract and has no specific value and there's no connection. But if your child now compares, compares those abstract numbers, they can easily see that they are different in height, so must stand for a different value. It makes such a big difference if a seven is just written down on a paper or if it can be explored with all their senses. Putting them in their hands, feeling them, even the weight is different. The 8 is more heavy than the 7. When children learn mathematics independently through playing, they have experienced it themselves which makes them forget it less. It is also a wonderful way for kids who struggle with numbers or have a learning disability because it gives them yet a different pathway to learning, one they may prefer or understand. So what is the age recommendation for some blocks? Some blocks can be used as simple building blocks already for the youngest from two years plus. And let's be honest, which kid doesn't like wooden building blocks? While structures and towers will be more simple in the beginning, they are absolutely great to develop fine motor skills. And there's one big advantage we shouldn't forget about. If your child plays with some blocks from the very beginning, they have explored those numbers and are familiar with their look and how they feel. And this will be definitely something which they will benefit from in the future. Older kids will build more advanced structures and try to build towers as high as possible. In order to create high towers, they need to build different levels and for that they need a stable foundation. So the other side of the tower needs to be the exact same height and while they don't really care about the same value in numbers, they are constantly dealing with repetitive addition and multiplication without even noticing just because they are trying to build a tower. Some blocks comes in three different sets and sizes. A starter set with 27 numbers, the home set with 43 numbers and the educational set with 100 pieces. While you can always extend your set by adding individual numbers, our recommendation would be the home set. If you plan to homeschool your kids in the future, if you have more kids, run a family daycare or a early learning center, the educational set would be the set to go. Each set comes with a math guide and some activity cards. For example, build a tower of 10. So to build a tower of 10, 
it can be multiple ways, seven and three, a nine and a one, or a five and a five, just to give you some examples. Lots of different activity, activities on those cards. We hope this was helpful and you now have a better idea of what some blocks is, what they stand for, what you can do with them and why we think they are such a unique and special um, way of learning math through play. At Oscars Wooden Arc we stock the whole range of some blocks, building blocks and we hope that we can provide some of those resources uh, to your family in the future.